to Stylish Manja channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a lot. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to cut a replaceable uh, sleeve for a caftan or a dress. So, this is just like a new and trendy style that is coming up now. So, I just want to share with you. So, I'm going to be making use of this um, fabric to do this, but I'm, go I'm just going to be making a top part so i'm just going to explain with what i have on a replaceable and uh, sleeve um dress you could see what i'm putting on the, what i'm actually putting on now is a cow dress that has a sleeve so there are some cow dress that does not have sleeve so what i'm going to be showing you now is how i'm going to be cutting from close to the shoulder you just cut out a, a, a portion of your dress and then you replace it with a different fabric so that now forms your sleeve so it's really simple and easy and it's trendy so you could try that you could try it out so that's just what i'm going to be doing now so what i'm going to be making use of i'm going to be making use of this fabric so if you are new to my channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please subscribe and then like this video so in making dresses like this we normally you normally fold your fabric because the back and the front they are cut together so you fold your fabric into four so i'm just going to be using a half cut for this so you are still going to understand what i'm trying to do because this half cut that i have here this is just like um 23 inches which is a little bit down so what i actually want is just to the waistline part so when making dresses like this we normally cut and the sleeves together for it's just like a dormant pattern so we'll cut the sleeve together with it so for this i folded my fabric into four and then the sleeve i'm going to be cutting the sleeve with it so i have 16 inches so this 16 inches will run from that's the middle of my back that's the, my back that's half of my back um half of my shoulder measurement that's from my back so i have 16 inches so 16 inches is about this point which is just ideal so that is what i have so when making a dress like this what you would do the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure out the neckline so I'm going to measure out the neckline now. So I'm using, uh, actually using 3.5 for the neckline. So, which is just like a moderate neckline. So this is 3.5. And then from this point, I'm just going to, to cut out the neckline. I'm going to make use of 5 inches. That's 5 inches depth. So I'm just going to mark it like this. This is my 5 inches depth. And then, to in order for you to cut out the sleeve, because you have to cut it out and then replace it back. We are going to be making use of our shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is actually uh, 16 inches. This is 16 inches. So I told you that my sleeve, I'm using uh, 16 inches or 17. So I have 17 inches here. My shoulder measurement is 16 inches, which is 8 inches. This is my regular shoulder measurement. So on a normal day, I'm supposed to, this is supposed to be my shoulder. But when you're making a dormant pattern, you really don't need this. All you need is the full length because the sleeve is joined together. So what you are going to do, the, the reason for this um, sleeve, sorry, for this shoulder measurement is for me to enable me where I'm going to be cutting for because I'm not going to be cutting from my exact shoulder measurement. I'm going to come in a little bit in. So the next thing you are going to measure now, you are going to measure your your where you want your, your replaceable sleeve to be. So I'm going to be making use of my waistline, which is and my waistline for this that I'm going to be making use of. I'm going to be making use of 16 inches. So this is like my 16 inches now for my waistline. That's from my shoulder to the waist and part. So the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do for, for this and dress, normally this is how you're, it's supposed to be. You measure from this point. Now after measuring the shoulder length, you measure um, 10 inches. If it is 10 inches, you actually want to use for your shoulder, for that's for your sleeve openings. This is your sleeve opening. And then you measure your waist measurement. And then since it is a long dress, you're just going to, to bring it like this and then you take it down to, to, the, to, 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 to the floor. So this is just like it going down. But for this replaceable sleeve, once you have your, your the shape of your of your dress already cut out like this so i'm just going to cut it out now just to assume that this is my this is my dress now 
which is going down because it is a long dress the next thing i'm going to come back to now is this and shoulder line so you are going to determine how you are going to cut which part you are going to be cutting the shoulder from because at the end of the day you know this part you, if you want to to pleat you are going to pleat your sleeve here you are going to pleat so if you are going to pleat you don't use 10 inches you use about 15 or 16 inches so you'll be able to pleat it if you don't want to pleat if you want to leave it as a straight and sleeve like this you could still do that but in replacing it you come you don't you will not cut from your shoulder line you come in a little bit you come in a little bit maybe uh, my uh, shoulder measurement is eight i'm going to do like um, five and half my shoulder is going to be five and a half why or even five inches because a part of a part of the shoulder is going to go with the sleeve that i'm replacing it's going to go with the sleeve so what you are going to do now after marking it from this point like this you are going to measure how um, deep you actually want it to be so like i said i said i'm making use of 16 inches so this is my 16 inches so what i'm going to do now because i'm going to be chopping it off like this so you are just going to make a circle so for this point you determine how how wide you want it to be so it's usually wider at the down part so for this down part i'm just going to make use of um 10 inches that's from this point and then i'll come to my bust line so this is my bust line and then from the bust and line point and i'll come to about eight inches so all i'm just going to do now i'm just going to mark it like this just make a very good and big circle and then i'm going to i'm going to cut it out like this and so now what i'm going to do now this is my replaceable sleeve so i'm going to cut out this part so you could determine to make it longer so you could decide the time you can you, sorry decide sorry you can decide to make it longer maybe you can decide okay let it come let the cut be on my um hip line so you could decide to cut out like this from the hip side so you just choose whatever you want to, to do so for this now i'm using my my waistline which is just a little bit under so you're just going to cut it like this and when cutting you make sure after cutting it off like this you are going to replace it back with a different and um, fabric so you are going to replace this with a different fabric and when replacing it with a different fabric make sure you add about one inches allowance around that will to because of the stitching you add one inches allowance round, and then you replace when you replace you just cut it out like this adding one inch and then you bring it back and then you stitch you make sure you stitch it back together and then you cut out your neckline so you just cut out your neckline like this you replace it back and then you you open up your shoulder so you're just going to open up your your shoulder so you can decide to open up your shoulder before you cut it out or after cutting it out you, you, you open up your shoulder so you see so at the end of the day it's going to be looking like this so you, when you replace it so you see what i have you replace it so your kaftan when you replace it and back so when you replace it back so your kaftan your kaftan dress is going to have this fine fine curvy and different fabric on this part which is really trendy and beautiful so guys it's really simple like i said so you could try us and then share your picture with me on uh, stylish niger sewing group or on stylish niger page on facebook both on facebook so guys i've come to the end of this illustration if you find it helpful please don't hesitate to like this video share and subscribe if you have not done so already so thank you so much guys i'll see you next time